Yo YouTube. <laughs> okay. So I made out that maybe I wouldn't make another video or another long chat. I'm not gonna, it's not gonna be long. It's not gonna be long. Right, the next thing I'm feeling and I'm telling you the day I've thought this or felt this. So because I do want to get the information out as quickly as possible because I don't know how much time there is so but I have a feeling that the elite have already gone now, I haven't checked or anything but even if they haven't maybe I'm getting the feeling ahead of time how much time and even if a magnanimous leader stays behind doesn't mean the elite haven't gone because we don't know most of the elite right <clears throat> if that's the case we would be pretty much living on batteries I mean all the workers will continue to work um, but um so people who work at power stations and things they'll continue working at the power stations and you know things will happen but the other thing that's possible is we could be under the control of another nation at some point that's that's another possibility This has started off badly, hasn't it? <laughs> no, 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 no. We will end up being under the control of like a central computer. Not controlling us, but like ordering stuff and So it will be, where will it break down? It will be like, um, what will stop functioning first? You see, you know, when the government go on holiday, there's no, there's no issue. Um, things go on. Um, it's going to go on basically until... There's some sort of problem or issue where those who are the elite get involved. And I suppose at the same time as realising that the elite have gone, we'll... Um, <clears throat> it, it will be one of those situations where they were, if you like, helpful, like keeping this man-made Babylon society running so it might it might be the money or you know because if the money if the money gets turned off yeah then things will break down and if we do still see these elite leaders who will have been the ones who um, secure themselves out of any harm's way. That was a long sentence. I forgot what I said. If we do see them, you know, it might be like blue screen or something. So don't be fooled because the deception is going to be huge. And like some other YouTuber pointed out the other day. The time of the day, you know, when he's going on about earthquakes and famines and there'll be this, but the time is not yet. What he was getting to was that at the time of the end, deception will be at its biggest. There, is, there will never have been such deception. So it'll be a worldwide deception. And, um... You know, only a few haven't fallen for it, countries-wise. Zimbabwe is one. 
the seams. Uh, I wouldn't agree North Korea. I think North Korea is a, like a, it's basically under China's wing. I'd say it's it's China's um, aggression probably. Um, anyway, deception worldwide. That that is the sign of the end times. So you've got to believe that. It's going to be hard not to. It's going to be hard not to believe what the masses want you to believe. That is going to get difficult because the deception is going to be massive, and the the belief machine of the those in power. See, you get someone famous that you admire. And they're talking about, you know, say a footballer, you know, he's talking. Say, say, um, say the elite knew that the world was going to end next year, right? And they have a footballer or a racing car driver who hasn't seen anything, hasn't got time to go on YouTube and watch lengthy videos with people talking. You know, they've got a busy, exciting life. <laughs> right? They, uh, they're not going to have a clue anything of what's going on. So they're not even going to be suspicious. So they're just talking about their career. Their belief system affects your belief system. So while they're believing everything's fine, there's nothing's going on, you know. And, and a lot of people have not investigated so the minority have so that their belief machine affects people around them and if you spend time with them while you're with them you know you'll be thinking god this crazy idea I had earlier about this and that that's bloody crazy but then perhaps when you're back on your own again you're thinking no 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 that totally makes sense that is the belief machine and you know you can do this too so with people you can be walking down the street you know knowing that God is our parent and loves us all the time and looking after us and we've got an eternal soul and isn't it wonderful and you know you can be walking down the street and you know their soul feels something from your soul it's their soul even though they might be unaware of it because they're in a complete facade. You know, they're pretending they're somebody else while they're walking down the street, basically. But their soul will go, whoa, I like, <laughs> I like that belief. Give me some of that belief. That, that feels much better than the shitty one I've got at the moment. So we have this sort of power. And uh, so also be aware of other people's belief systems bring in your better, truer, more in line with God's truth, the truth, don't let them do it. Be strong in your belief and impose it around you. <laughs> bring it. Bring God down to you and around with all the others. So, what I was saying, making this video for. The elite have gone. They've gone. <coughs> They're not <coughs> running the machine anymore. The minions and the sheep will plod along doing what they do for quite a while. Where have they gone? <laughs> 
the image I got, because I was getting images, so I've got to be wary of images. But I thought about these bunkers in um, Denver or wherever it is, and I thought of them with bunkers, and I thought, well, the Chinese has visited, the Pope's visited, a barman, you know, maybe they, they've gone, that's where they need to go to go. And, you know, why would the Pope need to come to America? Why would the Chinese guy need to come to America? Well, they could all make bunkers in their own place. But maybe their technology is required that only exists in one place. And technology required is a zapper, <laughs> Star Trek, beam me up Scotty, beam me up to a receptor on the far side of the moon that we on Earth never see. Deception is great. The next thing that's going to happen is They're going to stage an alien intervention. And... <sighs> Sounds wacky. Sounds very wacky. But the children are going to be at school, asked to sit very still, and they're going to zap them up too. Now the children are important because without the children they're good, much better conditioned souls improving the world around them. Us adults would be falling into sinkholes and burning lava. It's the children that have been keeping us on steady ground because they, they're they still good, they still create a good universe around them. And that's, that's actually true. I mean, <laughs> all of this could be true, as whack as it sounds, and the truth often is stranger than fiction, isn't it? So, I hope I've got across what I'm trying to say. The elite have gone. They've already been zapped up. And all the people in the know, and that could be very few. Very few. Bunch of evil gits, I bet. I can imagine. Um, but if <laughs> and it, uh, I did also picture something going a bit wrong with uh, the snapping uh, at some stage, and. Um, Not all the children going. And of course, the people left behind are supposed to think everyone else has been raptured and that they're left here for the um, destruction. And without the children, things could deteriorate quite possibly in areas if there were no children it, it could maybe that's why Japan I've never thought of that maybe that's why they're getting so much shit is because um, they're not having enough children 
And maybe that's why governments have been um, allowing immigration people to have lots of children because the natives weren't having enough children and <laughs> the country was turning to shit perhaps. I mean, I don't know, I haven't thought about it that much yet. Right? So it's still quite fresh. But yeah, I did get this feeling that not all would go, so there will be pockets left. So, um, see any children around, get round them. <laughs> sort of havens. And, um, but yeah, also work to start ensuring that the universe you create is good too. And that's what will keep you that's what will keep you from the destruction as this goes down I've been waiting for a harbinger but I don't know I thought I saw, you know, what I saw was a blue light tinkling and because there's so much sort of and then I've been thinking since then well the way things seem to be working, what I'm seeing different, is that God seems to be getting more into people. And people are doing more things, more fervently, more belief in God. Standing up, you know. Just um, gradually, you know, slowly, small beginnings. So still, you know, it's... um. By no means conclusive. Well, you know, you've got to believe, and you've got to believe in something. I mean, I hate the way the world is. I hate what we do to nature. I wish we could just allow nature more, at least. We are a bit, we are a bit, but not enough, not, not nearly enough. The vulnerability of society is it needs buildings. And nature seems to be a bit against buildings at the moment. I mean, you've got a lot of sinkholes, so the earth is stretching. Because there does seem to be, you know, a lot of evidence that something is coming physically as well to the Earth. You know, 200 years ago the magnetic field started weakening. Something's happening to all the planets and the Sun. It's an object that's coming and it's drawing the magnetic field towards it. And this movement on the earth will create a sort of a heat and therefore an expansion. And so, you know, oh, <laughs> it's happening on every level. Ah, oh, Mother, Father, God. Who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Or at night, say, give us this night the courage to do what's right. <laughs> forgive us our trespasses. And I'd like to say, and help us to forgive those who trespass against us. If you say, as we forgive those who trespass against us, you're almost... Telling God not to forgive you. And God will always forgive you. God will always forgive you the instant you do anything wrong. But you also have to forgive yourself. Forgiving and repenting. It's all about really experiencing every single thing in your life. There'll be memories that you've had that keep cropping up. Just go with whatever comes up. Just 
don't force it. So the delusion will continue. <sighs> the delusion will continue. Maybe even Elijah will be disguised. It's possible. I asked again, I did, like after I saw that blue light, the other, was it yesterday or something, or the day before, I sat and meditated and I was going, you know, is this coming? And I did get a visual, I did see something which was like a, you know, and this is unforced, but. I'm aware that I might be a bit obsessed about it, so you know, kind of did I cleverly create it first or something. But no, it seemed pretty fluid. But there was this, it was black, and you see, I could have made it black, couldn't I? But it did remind me of, you know, like the black ball on a snooker table. The, sh you know, shiny, sort of smooth, basically. You know, hurtling towards the earth. And I saw it, so the earth is turning. Hang on. Sun's here. Right, sorry, yeah, the earth is turning this way. Okay. And I saw the object coming from here and hitting the earth as it's turning. And I saw it, it was basically where you've got the Gulf of Mexico. That's where I sort of, I saw how high it was on the globe and everything. So it, it wasn't below, it was in the Gulf of Mexico. So uh, west of Florida, just south of um, Texas and whatever you've got down there. Um and in the water, hidden in the water. And that's where, um, helicopter, that's where, uh, sorry, my brain. Anyway, yeah, so in the water, splash in the water, and it was morning there because I could see the shadow on the earth. So as it was moving, so in England it would be one o'clock in the afternoon, as it was moving. It had been in the light for about an hour-ish, an hour or two, and then... Poof. Now, what was all that about area? No, what was it, the, the military thing they did just recently? Down in that area. So maybe they've, it's happened and they've hidden it. Well... <laughs> If you're from Florida, you'd know about it. And obviously, there'd be some big waves eventually hitting the English coast. Because there was a very, well, there was a, a, a meteorite that was only 1.3 times further away than the moon, or 1.3 times the moon distance away from Earth. And you, you always wonder, you know, would Earth's gravity be enough to pull something in? But yeah, so, you know, I, I did see that, but we'll see. We'll see. You know, will it be described as something else? Will it, will it be treated as a nuclear bomb and then there will be a retaliation or something? I don't know yet, don't know. But, 
mainly the deception is going to be massive. That's how we know where we are. And don't take any chips. Well, there probably won't be any. Probably there was the barcode. That was probably on about the barcode. So we all took it, didn't we? We all um, used the barcode. We all got involved in that. Um, in that. In that. <laughs> we bought things with barcodes on. We were part of it. What I like about the Bible is there's quite often multiple interpretations for something and quite often all end up being true. And it's um, very interesting. Very interesting. Some people I'd say would say it's the chaos theory. <laughs> and a monkey would have written it given enough time. Well a monkey is God, so perhaps yeah. <laughs> right. So I'm the first you'll know about it because the deception will be rife. The first you'll know is your power will go. It might be in November. It might be as late as December. power will go. You'll be on your own. Also did see police cars driven by ro robots. Like, and um, shooting like 30 foot electric taser things out the window. Whatever that would do to you. Run. <laughs> so did you get that? So they got the Google cars, right? They've got the technology. There's enough people been saying that's what they seem to be doing. Concentrating on that. Well, the whole time with Windows just fucking us off continually. I mean, I'm a PC repair guy. Windows 10's come out. I'm mo I've been moving on to something else. I'm getting loads of phone calls. I do not want to know. I don't even want to know how to fix it. Because then I feel compelled to tell people. I'm not getting into it. I've told my answer phone six weeks off. And I've left it to fate. Anyone who phones within that six weeks, it's just meant to be. So, yeah, they've been just annoying us with computers. Like, if you think the power you had on a Windows 97 computer with Office 95 and Outlook Express is pretty much equal to what you need if you're running a little business yourself or something and you had paint and <laughs> photo editor you know it was simple it was good it was fast and um, you had an antivirus whatever you know you, you worked it yourself whatever but 
you know, so computers have just gone more annoying and you can't really do anything else on them much. Apart from play freaking games, just fantasy, you know, in another world. Where if you knew the truth of this world, it's way more interesting than any fantasy. So, they have been utilising computer power, combining it with robotics and putting it to good purpose. They've been making it useful whereas we've just been hitting brick walls with every new version of Windows that's come out. It, um, <laughs> item, item. Raspberry Pi. I might get involved in Raspberry Pi if I'm wrong about all this. If there's another seven years, something else is going to happen. You know, just saying what I've had feelings about. And this latest one is very hot off the press, so, but, yeah. There we have it. But um, just survive until sort of June. You know, don't get into fights. Just believe. You know, try and feel God as much as you can, and you know, watch it happen. Create a good universe around you. Love, love yourself. Seem see sort of. I'm wondering if soulmates are coming together at this time. If there's something people are meeting their soulmates, it's possible. Um, the soulmate feeling. It's like from here, down down to your sort of like your balls, really. <laughs> If you're a man, if you're a woman, you know the bits. So, but yeah, from here to there, and it's, so it's like we're one here, and the and the head bit. See, the head bit is going to be separate because that's your that's that's kind of where we often see ourselves in in here. And there's a lot going on with the head as well. Meditation, I've been talking about. I've been feeling all sorts of uh, different things in the head. Uh, the temples thing, which I may have mentioned in the last video, you know, that has expanded. I'm looking much further into that. And uh, it seems only God can go there. Um, the spirit that you embrace can kind of fully come into you. Or usually here on the forehead. Um, Father God does move around and sometimes seems like near the forehead and I'm like, is that God? Was that someone else? Hang on, I've got to, I've got to check with Mother God. Oh, Mother God's still feeling <laughs> Yeah, it's like, you know, experiencing. It's, um, you know, everything is done simply. Everything can be understood. You know, if you don't understand something the first time, you do it again, you start to sort of build up an understanding. And I, I, I had a real, you know, often I'll get something on the front of the head and it's, it's like telling me it's God, you see. That's why there's often so much doubt. And there was this one and it was real bright, really bright. But it wasn't God. And it made me start to have thoughts that I was God. <laughs> That's what it did. 
started making me think, oh, everything's just happening for me. I'm creating it all myself. I'm God. I'm creating all this myself. I've had that thought before, too. And but then I, you know, no, that, that doesn't feel good in my soul. It doesn't feel right. Get, get feeling God, feeling God right from here, straight from above. Feeling Mother God straight from beneath, up, up your centre. Sometimes up, or like around your soul like that, with like up your spine and and it's such sweet love. You can define some feelings. I've noticed with spirits that there is a sort of a crackle, and and with God, with God, it's just pure cream it's just there's no there's no crackle it's it's as smooth as silk and it can be very gentle and it can be very powerful the first time it's going to seem powerful it's going to seem very powerful the first time but as you experience it more and more you're starting to Notice the essence of it, so you don't need to feel it so powerfully every time. Sometimes you just want it as a, a quick sort of hello, or it's it's what you want, your will. And I turn my will towards God in that I want to learn from God. I want God to be my teacher, rather than. Yeah, just me, as it has been for so long, just me doing what I wanted to do. But, you know, that's a good way to find your way anyway. You should do what you want to do, and especially not what some other spirit compels you to do. Don't do that. And we all have done. I mean, as soon as you get influenced, you start to sort of, and you'll do something, be influenced by spirit, and you'll do it, and you'll do it without thinking. And then you might think, "What the bloody hell did I do that?" Anyway, I'm going on. So that that'll do it. All right. I think I'll call it last chat part two. Ooh. That was the last time. <laughs> Ciao.